let's look at how you can add restrictions or requirements to quizzes to essentially create kind of a gamified approach in your class or simply just to control student pacing through a unit so that they're not able to move on to a later activity until they have met requirements on a quiz or some other activity. Now, if you want to use these completion requirements, you're going to have to have your items in a folder. So if I want a completion requirement on this quiz, I'm going to, I need to house it in a folder. So I'm just going to drag and hover over the name of the folder to get it to pop open. And I'm going to put this quiz as the second item in this folder. Once everything is located in the folder, go ahead and click the title of the folder itself so that you get the correct options button. I know I'm inside the folder because I can see its icon at the top of the screen and I want to apply some options to the items in this folder. So I'm going to go into options and I'm going to choose to assign student completion rules to the activities in this folder. Now before I choose that, let's just kind of peek at what I have in this folder. So I have a level one challenge. What students are going to do on this page, it asks them actually to read an article and then it tells them there's going to be a quiz on that on the next page. So if they click next, that would bring up the quiz that you see listed second in my folder. If they pass the quiz with 100%, I want them to get their level one badge, which is just a, an image file that they get. And then I want them to move on to the level two challenge, which is a video they're gonna watch on how zombies have morphed in pop culture. And then they'll participate in a discussion. Now, I don't want them hopping around or moving on to level two until they've mastered level one. So I'm gonna put a completion requirement on this quiz that until they score 100%, they can't move on to the other activities in the folder. So let me again go back to the options and choose student completion. And now you just have to add requirements to the elements in your folder. Now, if you want them not to be able to progress until they meet that requirement, you do need to put a checkbox and the requirements must be completed in sequential order. Now I'm gonna add that requirement. So for the quiz, which is what I want to assign it to, and there's the title of the quiz, the member must, or the student must, that you can have them just view it, make a submission. But now I want them, I want to put a requirement that they have to score at least 100% on the quiz. So I'm giving them three tries so they can go back and take it again if they don't get 100%. I'm gonna save my changes. For items like this video that's simply on a page, I can also add a requirement to that. And I can go back to that student completion option and add another requirement just to say, hey, I want them for this video, I want them to view it before they go on and participate in the discussion. And for something like a discussion, if you add a requirement, you can require them to view it or actually post a comment in it if you'd like to. So those are the different ways you can assign rules to your discussions. And once you save your changes, those rules will take effect. So let's switch over to a student account and see what this looks like. Now, when I revisit this folder from my daughter's account, she sees this little must complete icon. And if she goes into the folder, she can access anything before this first requirement. So she can access the first item, which is to read the article, and she can go to the quiz, but she can't move past this quiz because she has not yet scored 100% on the quiz. Her first attempt was an 80. So if I go back to that outline view, she can't move past the quiz because she has not yet scored 100% on the quiz. This little check mark is grayed out, which means she hasn't met that requirement. If she tries to click on the level one badge or tries to open any of these other things, they're grayed out, it just doesn't work. So if she goes in and raises her score, her current score is an 80. Let me just fast forward the video and I'll get her 100% on this quiz. Now that she has earned 100% on the quiz, the next button is now available. That was grayed out for her previously, but she's earned 100%. So she can click next and she can go on to the level one badge that she can you know, save and add to her profile because she has earned that level one badge. And if I go back out to just the outline level of the folder, you can see she's got a green check mark because she has met this requirement. She has scored at least 100%. So she can go on to the level one badge. Now she can move on also to unlocked content, which is the level two challenge about zombies in pop culture. She still can't go on to the discussion because she has not viewed this page. This page has the video on it. So when she opens the page and views it, it that's a lovely picture. Then she can go on and participate in the discussion. Now she's viewed this discussion, but she hasn't made a post in it yet. So the requirement listed here for her to see is still grayed out. And if I go back into my teacher view and go into the student progress option, you can see Sadie is 67% done with the activities I've given a requirement to in this folder. And all of my other students would be listed here as well. 
So student completion is a great way to assign restrictions to any of the items in your Schoology folders that helps you control student pacing through a lesson. It prevents them from moving on to additional content until they've mastered the previous content and it's a fun way where you can add some gamification or challenge type elements to your classroom. And you can always go back and revisit and delete or add additional requirements as needed so long as all of your items live in a folder.